AEW Fight Forever fans. Welcome back to the channel. God bless. Thank you for rocking with your boy. It is truly appreciated. So, AEW Fight Forever. Yeah. If I could be totally honest, man, I hadn't played this game in quite a while now. And reason for that being, and I'm just speaking from a single player perspective, I feel like I kind of done everything there was to do. Like, I've been through Road to Elite, I don't know how many times, and it really wasn't the experience that I was hoping for. You know, especially in terms of like longevity and just being that go-to mode where you know you can just kind of load it up and play it it's just not enough there if we're being completely honest and it's definitely not enough to carry this game so with that being said man i mean like i said i just kind of feel like i've almost done everything i mean and like i said i'm speaking from a single player experience you know, I don't really play online at all. So that may be one of the things that's kind of skewed my perception of it. But, yeah, I mean, I don't play online. I, I have no, really no desire to play online. And it really has nothing to do with, I mean, you know, I hear some of the nightmare stories. But even with that being said, I've never been really been like an online kind of, player that's why I say I'm speaking strictly from a single player perspective and I don't know man like I said I mean it feels like a incomplete experience like I mean if you just go and look into the the match types I mean we've already been all over this I mean but there's not a lot of match type it's not a lot of variety to be had with this game and it doesn't help that the, I guess, DLC, so to speak. And I keep in mind, I'm one of them early adapters. Like, I put a lot of faith in this game. Like I say, I pre-ordered the Elite Edition. Yeah, so I, I, was, I was all in. <laughs> no pun intended, but I really was all in with this game, you know. Just looking to support it. And, it, and to a degree, that's still true. I mean, I'm not, I haven't given up on it, but... We can't deny the fact that this game is almost dead and it hasn't even really been out, what? It's barely been out like a month? And that that's crazy, man. That's a crazy turnaround from the high expectations that we had for this game for it now to be like almost like non-existent in a way. So, and like I feel like Part of that is on THQ um, for not coming out early, especially in terms of the, the DLC, because, you know, fans were expecting this DLC. I guess it was um, the, all those dates were tentative that were on the Nintendo site. But even still, they should have came out and nipped that in the bud immediately. Like, why let people sit back with these expectations? You see these expectations. I know you have to see them. Like, but yet you wait until the day of the DLC is supposed to be dropping to tell people like, oh, well, those were just tentative dates. Like, no. And this is coming from someone, like I said, I praise them for, you know, being kind of down in the trenches with the fan base, you know, um, especially on Twitter. They've been listening to the feedback and things like that. But this, I mean... You have to set those expectations early, how this game is going to progress, like moving forward. Because you know what I'm saying? We, that's another thing. We were promised that this game is going to be, you know, it's not going to be a yearly release, meaning that they're going to keep working on it, you know, as time progresses. So with that being said, man, I mean, some kind of roadmap or, you know, itinerary should have been at least somewhat articulated as to how that they were going to go about, you know, implementing these changes and upgrades or whatever have you. Um, because like I said, I can only speak from a single player's perspective, but 
for me, I mean, right now, I just don't have a reason to go back to this game because there's not a mode to sustain this game outside of exhibition. I mean, and it's just like I play exhibition and stuff maybe for content creation, you know, but other than that, like I'm talking about just turning the game on and having a good time. I mean, it's not a lot to be had there, man. And I was really hoping for more. So, I mean, who knows what the future holds, but for right now, I can definitely understand the the YouTube videos I'm seeing and the taglines, you know, is this game dead already? I mean, that's a valid question, man, because is it? You know what I mean? Like, we can't, you, we can't maybe successfully refute that, especially not now, so I don't know. I guess it kind of is what it is, man, but... Um, I just wanted to chime in, you know, and kind of just let you know where my thoughts were at and really why I haven't posted, like, any content regarding this game. I mean, it's just, I don't know. Like I said, for me, it just kind of went off that proverbial cliff, <laughs> so to speak. I mean, after, like, the first few weeks. So, I don't know, man. Like, y'all, you guys let me know what you think, you know, regarding this whole situation is AEW fight forever dead is it not dead does it have a hope of coming back like is this something like just say maybe they take till the end of this month or maybe even stretching into September is this something that you would come back to like is there enough to keep you hopeful for this game as it stands right now like I say leave your honest feedback in the comment section and like I say, if y'all want to talk about it further, let me know, man. But anyway, man, I truly, truly appreciate you guys, man. As always, thank you for rocking with your boy. God bless. And like I say, until the next one, man.